Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Now, finally, I'm going to show you guys how to make the forward backward knot and the backward forward knot. And it's going to be the final two knots that you guys must know to make this beautiful friendship bracelets. Okay, so here I have my strings. I'm using yarn for now, just so you guys can see more clearly how to make these knots. And excuse my voice, but I've been sick for almost two weeks now, so I hope it's not that annoying, okay? So, as you can see, we have red and blue, same order. It's organized the same way, that way you guys can see what's the difference between the two knots. So, we're gonna start. If you don't know how to make a forward knot, I do have a video on how to make a forward knot, along with how to make a candy stripe, that's where I have the instructions. And also for the backward knot, I have a video along with the chevron bracelet, okay? Okay, so for the left side, okay, we're gonna make the forward backward knot, okay? So, what that means is since every knot is made of double knots, that means the first half knot is gonna be a forward and the second one, second half knot, is gonna be a backward. So, so what I mean? So, I grab the red and make a four, just like a forward knot. And then under the blue string and through the loop that we just created here and we pull just like that that's a forward half knot now we're going to make the backward now if you guys don't remember that backward knot it's we make a backwards four okay that's just an easier way for me to remember or it can be easier for you guys too to remember what's the forward knot and what's the backward knot so, a backwards four, and we do the same under the blue one, and that's it. And there you go. Okay, so basically, what we did is we just made the knot, and it's gonna be the red, it's gonna be a red knot, and it's gonna go back to its place. Okay, so there you go. Now, for this one, it's gonna be a backward forward knot. Okay. So, that means we grab the blue one, because it's a backward knot, so that means we make a backward, backwards four, okay, and again, top of the red, but under the red, we pull it through, and there's a half backward knot, sorry, I pulled too high, there you go, and now we make a forward knot, the forward half knot, so, same string, but this time I'm gonna make the four. Okay, it's not a backwards four. So we make the four and same thing and we pull. And here you have it. Just a knot, it's gonna be blue. And again, the same thing as this one. We use the blue string and it came back to its place. So that's why it's really useful, the, for, the forward backward knot and the backward forward knot, because that way, if you need a certain string to go to its original place, you can do that by doing these knots. And so that's the difference, see? It's really simple. It's just a half for forward backward knot half forward and then the other half backward and then here instead of starting with the forward knot you start with the backward and end with the forward knot and that's basically it so I hope you guys did understand this and you guys could see my hands while doing this because I in a lot of my videos in Spanish there's been a lot of complaints that you guys can't see my hands while I'm making the bracelets it's kind of hard for me to show my hands because I want you guys to see more of how the race is coming out, okay? But if you know how to make this, the four basic knots, you actually, you guys actually don't have to see my hands. So let's get to our bracelet. Okay, so I picked this bracelet to for you guys because it's really repetitive, and that way you can get more familiar of the forward and backward knots and backwards and forward knots okay so I hope you guys like it and let's start so 
you can actually add more strings as long as you have two of each. So for example, I have four colors, two of each, so in total I have eight strings. You can you can have up until like 30, 30 strings, but remember it has to be 15 colors, so that way it can be two of each, okay? The most important thing is that you have to have two strings of each color, okay? So we will start. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab the first pair and we're going to make a forward-backward knot, okay? So remember, it's a forward half knot, then a backward. So here's the backwards four, and we pull. And there you go, okay? Now, we just used the string. This time we're going to use the string that we where we made the knot, okay? So now we're going to use this string to make the, for, the next forward backward knot to the next string. So here is the string. It's going to be a forward backward knot. There you go. Now we just let go of this string and this time we're going to use the pink one and we're going to make a forward backward knot. So forward and backward knot. There you go. We just let go of the string that we used before and now we're going to use the other pink string where we made the knot and we're going to make another forward backward knot like this. We let go of the pink string and we're going to grab the blue, remember it's the one that we, where we made the knot. We're going to grab it and into the next string we're going to make a forward backward knot. So basically for the whole row we're making a forward backward knot. And there you go. Let go of the blue string. Now we're going to use this one and a forward backward knot. This. We let go of this string. Now we're going to use this one where we made the knot and a forward backward knot. Here we have it. See, there you go. There's a whole row of forward backward knots. Now we're going to start from this side now, okay, for the next row. And this time, instead of making forward backward knots, we're gonna make backward forward knots. So, remember for the backward forward knots, instead of starting with a half forward knot, we're gonna make, we're gonna start with the backward half knot. So, backwards four, under, and we pull backward, and then a forward. So there's the four, and we pull. So there's the backward forward, okay? So after this, we're going to do the same thing as we did in the first row. So we just used the string, we let it go. Now we're going to use the string where we made the knot, so the base string, let's just say. And we're going to do the same thing, a backward forward knot. So at the end, the string that you're using have to end up in the right side, okay? So here you go. Now I'm going to use the base string and again, a backward forward, a backward go. We let go of this string. And now we're going to use this one. 
I'm going to make a backward forward to the next string. So backward forward. Just like this. We let it go. Now we're going to use the string where we made our knot. And a backward forward. Let the string go. And we're going to use this one, the other pink one, and a backward forward. Backward, forward. There you go. Again, we use the one that we used to make the knot. <laughs> and it's going to be a backward, forward, and here you have it, and basically that's it. <laughs> I know you can't really appreciate the design because it's just like two rows, but after this it's just the same thing how we started. So basically we start from the left side with the green strings, okay, and we're going to make a forward, backward knot in this whole row. And then the second, backward, forward, and just like that. So I'm going to do it one more time. So we grab the first string, it's going to be a forward, backward knot. There you go. We let go of this one. Now we're going to use this one, the other one, the other green, and a forward, backward knot. There you go. I'm gonna let go of this one. Now we're gonna use the string that was the base to make the knot. And it's gonna be another forward, backward knot. There you go. Then we let this string go. Now we're gonna use the other pink. Again, the base string and a forward, backward. There you go. Let that go. The other blue one and a forward, backward. There you go. Let that go. And the base string forward. Here we have it. See? Now for the second row for the next step. So basically it's the fourth. So now since we made forward backward knots, now we're gonna go this way and it's gonna be backward for backward forward knots. So we grab the last string and it's gonna be a forward. I mean a backward forward knot. So backward forward knot. There you go. We grab the string where we made our knot. And now we're going to use that one to make the next backward forward knot. So backward forward. There you go. We let that string go. Then we use the base string backward forward backward forward there you go we'll let that string go now we're gonna grab the other blue string with the base color the base string I mean and another backward forward and there you go and we, we grab our base string and I know really repetitive so backward forward we grab our 
our other pink string and same thing backward forward and then our base string is going to be just a backward forward and there you have it that's basically it that's all you have to do as long as you know your forward backward knots and your backward forward knots you'll be good to go so I'm gonna continue with this bracelet so that way you guys can appreciate more the design and like it even more so let's continue Here we have the finish bracelet, see? So here it is. That's why it's called a knitted bracelet, because it looks like it's like someone actually like knitted, like with the hook and stuff. This is how it looks. The other side, but it also looks pretty, see? And I decided to just finish it with just like a rope braid. Okay, so here you have it. So we just learned how to make a forward backward knot and a backward forward knot along with this bracelet. So I really hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you guys did, please, please like this video and also I invite you guys to like my Facebook page that is all about friendship bracelets. Okay, so it's a bilingual, so I mostly I post in Spanish, but I'm going to start posting in English too. And, well... That's basically it. I'm going to leave the link for my Facebook page in the description box. So, I really hope you like this bracelet. If you would like to see more tutorials on this beautiful friendship bracelets, then please subscribe and I will see you next time.